Hello everyone, this is Luke Phil Smith and this is going to be my first uh, disassembly video uh, on cleaning consoles, that kind of thing. Um, this is my PS1, very first um, PlayStation I ever got. Um, I actually cleaned the top of it because it was a lot worse, it was caked in dust and everything. I'm actually going to use it to do my next, um, or one of my Let's Plays uh, this year. Because uh, I did my um, Resident Evil 2 run, which I started with Claire A and Leon B. Uh, I'm going to switch it up a bit and do Leon A and Claire B. Um, the first ever playthrough I ever did alone, or when I first got the game before YouTube times. But yeah, um... This is it, so it's an evil 2, it still works miraculously. Uh, it's only one game, I've got the other one in there. I should really put the stuff back in the cases and that. But, um, good thing to point out uh, the serial number on there, and um, you can actually look it up online to um, find out when your model was actually made. I believe this is 97, I'm not quite sure. Still works. Amazing. I actually found out all the cables and everything. I'm going to plug it in and actually leave it out in the open so I can actually get to it. Anyway, um, six screws um, to be had. Um, so I, I'm actually going to do these screws off camera. So be right back. I guess I'll do the last screw on camera, might as well. I actually cut out the, um, well, let's stop the recording. Um, I don't really feel like editing the video much, um, here, because it's, it's gone like 6.30 at night and I don't really feel like editing and that. Um, again, like I said, um, before you even think about doing this, unplug the controller memory cards, unplug all the cables um, obviously turn it off but you would anyway and um, keep everything unplugged for about roughly 30 minutes to an hour but last time I ever, last time I had this actually plugged in was a year ago so I'm pretty sure I'm safe this is what your um, it looks like on the inside, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit I'm not going to clean it up on the um, camera, but still, I'm going to see what's best. Also, something else to point out. Uh, let me just do that. Here is where your um, clip will go for playing imports. It will go on there, so it will recognise it's an import, but it's a spring-loaded mechanism. Um, I lost it. Pretty much easy enough to say. I ended up losing that bit. Um, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not interested in playing imports. Anyway, power board, your um, disc reader, which can be lifted off and taken off like that. You've got to be extremely careful while doing this, otherwise, you'll break it. It actually comes off no screws, don't touch that. It's just got a ribbon cable and your um, power cable as well. So I will put that to one side. Um, also this um, video is good for if you need to place parts. Um, so if you need a new disc reader then you, you saw how easy that was to take off. This here is for the um, for this part. Ah, oh, it's got two screws in there. Um, so let me just cut the camera and undo them two screws. Okay, once that's done, you can just take out the um, power and there, yeah, power the um, controller and memory card ports like that. It comes out in one solid lump. That's the ribbon cable for the um, motherboard to plug it in again easily replaceable so I'll put that there 
here is the, um, the power board so again be careful unplugging that okay you can unplug it from here as well and that will just be loose enough you, you can actually get rid of that cable replace that cable as well I'm gonna zoom it in a little bit just in case you can't see it that good that's a cable that you can replace if you want if you so wish you can't unplug it yet you have to wait and here I don't believe it has any um, screws I think it actually has two more screws just there okay sorry about that I had to go and do something a bit quick but when I come back I actually um, taken out these two screws up here and there was three more screws here on this plate I'd taken out one here one there and one there which it won't come out for some reason but it'll come out soon so be very careful on this tilt it up like that and then away this is your power board be extremely careful about this because like I said this is the reason why you needed to leave the console off for it to decharge and go completely flat otherwise you'll get a nasty shock I'm going to see if I can sweep the dust off of this for cleaning hopefully it'll make it work a lot smoother let me just put that there this bit you can remove like this this is just the protection plate that protects the motherboard I'm gonna clean that up and with this cable oh, there is there's my screw go there four screws not three with this cable if if you need to replace it just squeeze that bit and it should pop out like I said should there we are here is your cable if needs replacing and again this I'm gonna clean it now uh, this plate that goes underneath your um, your uh, controller ports and um, this is your motherboard uh, this won't come out for some reason it's screwed in as per usual, it is screwed in. I think one, two more screws are there, and it will be. Is that recording? Yes, it's still recording. Two more screws, and it will be out. Now, try not to damage any of the circuit, any of the circuitry on this as it will break it obviously it still won't come out it should come area but yeah we are there is the motherboard as you can see Sony there's the Sony chip all these clips and everything and the adapters for the ports and everything so everything essentially plugs in here I'm gonna dust this off because there's grime and dust and everything on it but on the back is where we have the power ports well no power port was on the actual power um, board but this is where your TV antenna goes into so I'll put that there for cleaning I'm going to do all the cleaning on off camera and show you what it's like actually um, put together again. I won't do a assembly video, it takes too long, I only wanted to do a disassembly. This as you can see is dusty, but this is the back plate for it. This helps get rid of some of the leftover static after turning it on and off. So they're actually good to um, have and that is it 
that is what is inside a PlayStation. But um, you can actually do it to um, replace these covers because you can actually mod it, you can do everything to it. Well, not exactly everything because I heard that you can do more to a PlayStation 2 Slim than one of these. But um, I ain't got a PlayStation 2 anymore, I've just got a PlayStation 3. I'm not doing anything to that because that's my baby. Um, but that is it for the um, disassembly. I'm going to clean it all up, get it ready for the um, LP, which I'll probably start next month, most probably, or a Halloween LP. But I'll keep it clean and everything. And um, tomorrow, I will have my new part of my next Let's Play out. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, tell me what was your experience with this kind of thing, cleaning. I mean, I've taken this thing apart loads of times, so I know inside and out, basically. So, yeah. Uh, that is it for the um, disassembly of the Sony PlayStation 1. Give me a like, favourite if you want, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. So until then, see you guys.